but she's basically calling the baby a chick magnet. Her exact words are a batty attention man. Keep in mind, what? this is a two month old child. Apparently this was referencing the fact that there were a lot of women at the funeral. And instead of saying something to the effect of look at all these people who cared about this child, she chose to say that he attracts baddies. She's what an a idiot. fucking psycho. <laughs> What? Oh my god! This TikToker vlogged a baby's funeral? Oh. Nah, this is out of control. What has the world come to? There's no hope no more. I don't care. No, get off me. No! Oh! There, there ain't no hope left. There ain't no hope. It's 2024 and all hope for humanity is out the window. It's gone. It's gone. You got people out here doing this. Vlog the baby's funeral. A baby. It's one thing to vlog a funeral, but to vlog a baby's funeral wasn't her baby. I don't. What is going on here? TikTok got everybody wilding. Has she lost her mind? Like, a, do they put something in the videos they watch? Like, a, I don't know. I watch TikTok. I feel like I'm normal. But I feel like she lives and breathes and eats TikTok. I, I feel like that's the difference between me and her. Look at her. Now look at me. Now look back at her. She is crazy. Bruh. The problem I'm having trying to decode this whole situation is how did TikTok let this slide? How did they let this slide? I, I say, oh, she's built like a half-eaten Pringle. That happens. But she goes to a baby's funeral, pulls out her iPhone 15 Plus, says okay guys today we're gonna be vlogging my niece's funeral yay three million views come on tiktok bro come on come on bro y'all just be on anything slide i'm tired of y'all picking and choosing uh, are y'all hating at this point I, I, I don't know my videos they can take down on tiktok and they don't even be having nothing to do with no bad stuff they just say oh it's his face again get him up out of here I, i'll spit on you I don't know, man. We just finna get into this video and see why this TikToker vlogged a baby's funeral. So let's get into it. Let's go. I've been to funerals before, but never for a baby. Um, so it's just, yeah. I didn't actually drink tequila, but she's gonna need it. Well, guys, what? today is a bad one. Somehow in 2024, people are still finding new lows to stoop to when it comes to what people are willing to try and turn into social media content. The concept of privacy seems to be dead. No, unfortunately, you are not reading the title incorrectly. Today, we are taking a look at a TikToker who decided that it would be a good idea to try and vlog the funeral of her friend's baby. Huh? Oh my God. It's not even somebody she related to. It's her friend's baby's funeral. What is going on here? Like, look at her. Oh. I'm tired of this. I don't know what's making me mad. The fact that she looks like the Haley Witch girl. Oh, you, you gotta give him that hawk. <laughs> Bruh. Or that she really thought this was a good idea. Like, come, come on. Like, this is dumb and they just watched her recorded it that ain't my friend no more she has to die what because this situation has been unfolding for quite some time at this point but this is something i just learned about this week thanks to a youtuber named jake doolittle if it wasn't for his video popping up in my recommended i would have never heard about this mm. so shout out jake for bringing this to an american audience because this whole situation is just terrible now from my understanding this all started about six months ago when a tiktoker named tasha page uploaded to TikTok, which was essentially a vlog of her going to another TikToker's child's funeral named Veruca Salt. What? And since that video was uploaded, a whole lot more has come out that shows that Tasha was not only inappropriate in vlogging the funeral, she did numerous other things at the funeral or surrounding it that were far, far worse. And those things are what we're going to be taking a look at today. But first, we're going to start with the video that sort of set all of this in motion. The original vlog that Tasha paid. <laughs> 10.3k likes is she even making a bag from this i feel like that's not a lot of likes 10.3k likes and 93 comments she cannot be making a bag for this because i was really sitting here thinking like hmm what if she made like 500,000 from vlogging this baby's funeral would i What's up guys, we're 
at my brother's funeral. Oh. You need to leave. Page uploaded. So let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. Please subscribe. And now I'm Okay, so apologies for the dog shit audio quality. I was just trying to say. videos have been deleted and re-uploaded over and over again. But we're not even at the funeral yet, and this is already pretty insane. Of all the things I could think of to bring to a grieving mother Alcohol? at the funeral of her baby, hard liquor has got to be the worst option imaginable. Yeah, let's take an addictive depressant to somebody who's going through what is likely the most difficult thing they've ever experienced in their life. That sounds like a song. But do people even really bring presents to funeral? I feel like I've been to a few funerals in my lifetime and the only thing I brought was myself. Like flowers, maybe? I don't, I don't know. I, a card, sorry for your loss. Like, uh, do they even make those? Why didn't she just bring herself? Why would she feel like the need to bring a present? It's not a birthday party. I think she's confused. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, she's an idiot. An idea, and then the nonchalant nature of how she's like, Yeah, she's gonna need it. Like, what? This is not somebody who just had a bad week at work or something and wants to forget it. This is somebody who just lost their kid. This is insane. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be a pretty heavy day. I've been to funerals before, but never for a baby. Um, so it's just, yeah. Shut up. There's just something really, really off about how this lady is acting. Look, apparently they did not know each other for that long. I'm not saying that you need to be completely torn up over the loss of somebody else's child. I mean, it's pretty hard to mourn somebody that you don't know. Yeah. But even with that being said, there's still something that just seems off about this behavior. Just sitting there like, yeah, it's probably not going to be the best day ever, you know, and just sitting there twirling her hair. It's just kind of weird. This does not seem like a person who has headed to the funeral of a baby. Now, the rest of the video is just her footage of the funeral. And even if this is where this story ended, if this is all there was to talk it was about, still be bad. I cannot imagine going to a funeral, much less the funeral of a baby of a person you don't even really know, apparently. And your first thought is to film a TikTok? Yeah. To me, that is a sign that not only is there probably something wrong with you, but you also need to get off of social media immediately. You You've lost. Yeah, I'm just gonna say these type of people breathe, live, eat, and sleep social media. I'm telling you, she she wakes up. Hmm. Time to film a TikTok. She goes to sleep. Hmm. That was a good TikTok. Come on. Come on, bro. Like, mm, mm, something wrong with them. There's something wrong with this lady, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. They say blonde hair girls are dumb. That's probably true. <laughs> touch with reality. But as I talked about earlier, this is not where this ends. Now, the timeline is a little bit foggy for me. I've been having some trouble nailing down exactly when everything happened because a lot of this has just been talked about in random Reddit posts. Okay. A lot of the stuff we're going to be looking at today has been deleted off of social media. So it's kind of hard for me to know when everything happened and what exactly caused what. But from my understanding, a few months after this happened, Tasha Page uploaded a video where she talked about how a friend of hers never thanked her for a baby shower gift. The friend she was referring what? to in that video being Veruca Salt. Tasha said some nasty shit about Veruca and I believe this led to Veruca releasing a video of Tasha giving a speech at her baby's funeral where she says some stuff that is genuinely some of the most disgusting shit I've ever heard come out of a human's mouth. We can speak. We can say something. Continue to do so. What is she doing? I never thought the pleasure to make cash because of my own 
Okay, so as you can see on the screen, Tasha was specifically asked not to speak at this funeral. So obviously, that is one huge reason as to why you would not do this. But I think another big reason is the first thing she says. She says, I never got the opportunity to meet him. Then why are you making a speech? Especially after you were asked not to. This I don't know, yeah. Yeah, the fact that she was asked not to is like, okay, what are you doing? But I feel like people do that all the time. They be like, huh? I didn't really know him like that, but he made so-and-so happy. Like, if you know somebody related to that person, I feel like, then you can talk about it, but I don't know. Uh, I don't I never spoke at a funeral. And I don't know. I feel like she's just seeking attention. It's raining and her toes are out. Bruh. That ain't it behavior is unacceptable. Now the next minute or so is basically just drunk rambling. It's not the most offensive thing ever, but it's a speech that should not have been given. It's just her saying nothing over and over and over again. She repeats herself. She contradicts herself. Like at one point she says, I can't imagine what you're going through. I can never put myself in your shoes. And then literally like 10 seconds later, she says, I know how hard this must be for you. It's just a bunch of nonsense. Not to mention she's know. leaning on the fucking hearse the entire time. Yeah. It's just just a pretty gross look into the mind of this lady when she can't even go 10 minutes at the funeral of a baby without trying to make it about her. But after this, it gets significantly worse. What? Now, if you couldn't make that out, don't worry, neither could I. It took me about uh. a dozen listens to figure out what was being said, but she's basically calling the baby a chick magnet. Her exact words are a baddie attention man. Keep in mind, what? this is a two-month-old child. Apparently, this was referencing the fact that there were a lot of women at the funeral, and instead of saying something to the effect of, look at all these people who cared about this child, she chose to say that he attracts baddies. She's what an idiot. a fucking psycho. <laughs> What? Oh my god! What is she talking about? I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I hate confrontation. I like I hate awkward situations. I would have been there like, oh my god. Please let this be over. What what is she talking about? Look. Everybody would like, if I, I I don't know, bro. That ain't it. That ain't it, but that's not how I pictured it would go. Like, I pictured like she'd say that and everybody would hit one of these. They just feel letting this lady talk. Somebody hit her, knock her out, knock her teeth out, make her go night night. Why are we listening to this goofy stuff? This is just, this is weird. And she uploaded this. She herself uploaded this, right? Or did the other lady upload this? No, I think the other lady uploaded this. She didn't upload this. I don't know what's going on would have been escorted out. The fact that everybody stayed so calm when she said this is honestly pretty respectable. So not only has this woman now proven that she is incredibly self-centered, has no respect for anybody around her, but is also sick in the head. To say at the funeral of a six-week-old child, may him live with forever lasting pussy, you've got to be a sick motherfucker. That is one of the most insane things I've ever heard a person say. To not only try and make somebody's funeral all about you, but to be willing to say stuff like this in general, the people still following or supporting this woman are genuinely lost causes. Now, after this video was uploaded and Tasha started receiving a lot of backlash, she uploaded like a 10 minute long video trying to defend herself, but On honestly, TikTok? after watching through it, I don't think it's worth showing. Not surprisingly, uh. the entire time, all she's doing is blaming everybody but herself for her actions. She blames most of her behavior on one of two things. The first one, being that apparently there was too much alcohol at the funeral, which I guess means that she was just forced to drink it. Right. And the second thing being that before the funeral, she had recently gotten an abortion, which look, I can understand how attending a funeral like this would likely bring up a lot of emotions if you just went through that. But in the video, she mentions that she thought that might have been an issue and some of her friends said the same thing. If you were- I hate people like this. I hate- I like- I genuinely hate people like this. They- they try to blame it on something else except the fact that you're just an idiot. You are dumb. Look at me. You might be the dumbest person I've ever seen in my life. I hate you. Oh! Oh my god, dude. I hate those type of people. Oh, oh, oh the reason I act out is because, oh, I- I recently just, you know, had to do something difficult too. What? Well, you always gotta make something about you. Shut up. 
Your baby didn't die. You, ooh, I almost said something that got me canceled. Who? Who? What's an acronym or something like something I can use to, you know, she, I don't know. She got rid of that baby, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Nah, but like, don't blame it on that. And then you brought alcohol. Talking about there's too much alcohol here, bro. Shut up. Were thinking that and you were unsure on whether or not you'd be able to handle yourself at a funeral, you shouldn't have gone. Sure, hindsight is 2020, but I can almost guarantee you that this lady would have much rather you had not shown up than you showing up and doing what you did. Now, the last thing we're going to take a look at is an Instagram post from Veruca. This was posted a few weeks ago and it's quite a lot, so we're not going to be going through all of it. What we're going to be focusing on are the parts that further detail Tasha's behavior at this funeral. So the first thing that stood out to me is apparently Tasha was talking about getting cream pied at a fucking funeral what? while apparently there were children nearby to hear about it, which I mean that's insane in any setting, talking freely about something like that with kids nearby, to even think about bringing that up at a funeral? What the fuck? We've got another section that says she walked into his room and started taking pictures, she was touching his clothes I mean this is just very strange behavior. This part reads the entire funeral she would not shut the fuck up about her abortion. She was telling every <laughs> everyone all about it. She's outside with my sister saying, I know how your sister feels. I just had an abortion. That's it's not the same. A voluntary abortion yeah. to someone's child passing away. That's fucking absurd. She also talks about how all the filming was done secretly, that she had no idea she was going to post basically a vlog of her kid's funeral. It's just such an awful situation and I don't understand how this person still has any supports. I don't know what it is with people these days and thinking that every single thing they ever do needs to end up on social media. Look, if you're a quote influencer and you document your life through vlogs and content, I get it. You're probably going to include most things you do. Over the last decade or so, a lot of things have become more acceptable to post onto the internet. Few acceptable to post? Acceptable to po po post? What? I couldn't even get my words out that time. That sounded so dumb. Acceptable to post? No. That's not acceptable. Like, I feel like it would never in my life cross my mind to be like, huh, let me vlog the entire baby's funeral. Eureka, this is my hit idea. Bruh. No, no, that never crossed my mind. I might, you know, vlog myself getting ready for the funeral and then be like, all right, I'll see y'all afterwards. But I would never be like, oh, okay, guys, we're here. We got to keep it down because the priest is giving the little sermon or whatever. He's giving his little uh, speech. I Oh, oh, do y'all want to see? Flip the camera. He's up there giving a the speech. Come on now. What? What is this, bro? Nah, this lady just looked dumb. I don't like how her facial structure looks either. Huh? Oh. I know you like when people just, like do dumb things, you're not supposed to judge them off the way they look. But um, hey, I want to talk about how she looks. I don't like how her forehead bends in in the middle and then has two bulges on the outside. Your face look lopsided. Now I'm on you. Oh. Funerals are not and will not ever be one of those things. Well, guys, what do you think? There's oh, really it? only one correct thing to think in this situation, so uh, hopefully you think this lady's crazy. This is one of those things that you just don't come back from, or at least that's how it should be, but yeah. with how the internet is now, there will always be somebody somewhere to forgive you for what you did. Accountability is dead, people. If you enjoyed this video, please leave oh, a like it. and welcome. Man, I agree with that last thing, man. He spin bars accountability is dead all the way dead now like i don't know like me personally i feel like i hide accountability until i get called what? if that makes sense you know what i'm saying like i i, I if, if you don't call me it ain't nothing to be accountable for like but if i'm out there in the open and it's been scientifically proven factual that i've been exposed i gotta be like oh yeah hey that was me i'm weird i, I gotta say something like that i can't be like oh Oh no, oh, I fell downstairs when I was younger, hit my head a little bit too hard, and that's why I'm like that, nah, bro, no, no, you still did it, you know what I'm saying, like, that's the same thing, like, with people, like, in jail and stuff, they be trying to do the mental illness plea, nah, no, 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 I don't care, hey, yeah, you, you crazy or not, you did what you did, get up out of there, huh, you know what I'm saying, I don't know, like, hey, uh, that's just me, but what y'all think, yeah, do y'all agree with the accountability is dead statement, like, do y'all take accountability, I don't, I be lying, but, uh, I don't know. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this video down below in the comments. Say y'all know what to do. If you enjoyed the video too much to subscribe, you know what it's 10,000 subscribers. And hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Could just make sense to like button if you like the video. No.
time to make a TikTok. <laughs>